welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make a paper mache pinata. I'm going to make a bumblebee. You can make whatever you want. You just have to figure out the parts that you would need. So this is my sketch of the one that I want to create. And it's actually from a book that I like. In your sketch, you, it'll help you figure out what you're gonna be doing. The wings I'm gonna add after, and I'm also gonna add these legs and antennas on step two. Step one, cover your balloon with paper mache. Get your balloon, blow it up. If the pinata you're making, you want it to be round, you can take a piece of tape and do a cross right here and it'll kind of hold this side in instead of the oval shape that the balloon is naturally. This is how I like to set it up. I'm right-handed. If you're left-handed, you probably want to do it the opposite. So I have my paper mache, I have my strips of newspaper on the right. I have my paper mache paste right here and then I have my balloon. You're gonna want to cover this in two layers, let it dry and then we'll do step two. Here's a way I found to make these strips covered in the paste that has worked the best. You dunk it in and then you hold your other finger under the water. So the whole thing is covered and then you take two fingers and pull it through and it takes the excess paper mache paste off. Then you start laying it on your balloon. Repeat this with a lot of these strips. So cover your balloon in two to three layers of paper mache strips. If you don't like the texture of this, I had a student that could not touch the paper mache paste. You can use gloves. Okay, now once you've covered it, I just wanna take the excess off. Once you've covered it in one to two layers, if you want to, you can smooth it with your hand or with a paper towel, but I'm gonna leave the glue on there. I want it to be pretty strong. Set this on some plastic or on newspaper. The newspaper will just stick a little bit and let it dry overnight. So after you've let your paper mache covered balloon dry overnight, or at least for, you know, 12 hours and it's pretty hard, the first thing we do before we paint it is we're gonna cut the hole that we will put candy into. I'm just gonna use an X-Acto knife. This is going to be where I put the face and this is going to be where the stinger is of the bumblebee. Somewhere around here, I'm gonna say this is the top. I'm gonna cut around circle. I'm not gonna cut the hole completely out. I'm gonna leave a little bit attached. I'm just gonna leave about that much attached so I can open it and close it. This is very weak attachment, but it still is helpful to have. So now we have our nice hole for the candy. Okay, now we're gonna just take some acrylic paint and cover this with yellow paint. I'm just using some acrylic paint. Don't use any water when you paint it. So I'm just gonna put a puddle of it on my newspaper. So completely cover your balloon in yellow. An easy way to paint it, if it keeps moving all around, is just stick your hand inside of the hole that you've cut out and you can hold it and paint it that way. After you've covered it in completely in yellow paint, you need to let it dry. And I'm just letting mine dry attached to my faucet. The next step is you wanna cut out your wings. So I have layered four sheets of just white printer paper because I wanted them to kind of be like bouncy. And I'm going to cut out two circles. So I'm just gonna draw two, li two lines in like this and that's what I'm gonna attach it with. I'm gonna do one circle, and then I'm gonna do my second circle. And then you wanna cut these out. The next step is measuring out your streamers. So you have yellow and black streamers. Figure out how many stripes you want. I want three black stripes, and then I'm gonna have five yellow stripes. So each stripe is gonna have three layers of the streamers. So I'm gonna measure out nine pretty big lengths, one, two, Cut it, and then for the yellow, since I'm doing five, five times three is 15. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then cut it. Then you start overlapping them like this. We're going to cut some fringe on these. We wanna just cut them as many at a time as we can. And crepe paper is really thin. So you can cut maybe four to five layers of it. You can measure it however long you want and just go back and forth. So I'll just do this part now. Take some scissors and I'm just gonna start cutting. Don't cut all the way to the end. Cut more than halfway though. Try not to cut all the way through it. And then you're just gonna cut your fringe and you're gonna continue doing this on all of the pieces. Once you get a section, cut the fringe out of it. Then you just wanna do the next section and notice how I'm keeping it all together. 
after you cut your fringe out, take the wings that you have cut out. And first, we're going to glue the wings on. So you want the wings to be on the top of our bee. So I'm just gonna take two of my biggest wings and I'm gonna put hot glue along this side. You can use Elmer's glue, but hot glue just dries so fast. It's so nice. I'm gonna put it right here and just bend it out like that. Then I'm gonna do another one right here. So put a little hot glue along that wing. Put it up here. Bend it out like that. So this is what it looks like from the side. Okay, now we have the wings on. Before you cover it with your streamers, we wanna put the stinger on there. You need a pipe cleaner, and I'm just bending the end in half, and then I'm just gonna cut it. Leave just a little bit extra at the edge to glue it on with. And then use your hot glue to attach this to the back of it. So there's our stinger. We're officially ready to start putting some crepe paper streamers on this. What I wanna do before is I'm gonna cover the back of it with some streamers just so it's the same color. I'm just gonna use two strips. I'm just gonna put one above. Put one above the stinger and one below it, like this. The first thing I'm gonna do before I attach my streamers is I'm gonna put it upside down. The bowl or a cup, it's gonna be a lot easier to decorate it. So you just wanna use Elmer's glue. Make sure you have your strips of your streamers and your glue and make a circle around the top of your B, actually on the back side of your B. So take your pieces of crepe paper and you're just going to follow your glue lines around like this. We're gonna do two layers of yellow. Now I'm gonna put two layers of my black on for my black stripe. So I'm just putting the glue just a tiny bit, maybe a half inch away from the bottom of the streamer that is in front of it. So that's kind of what it looks like from the side. So I'm just gonna do two layers of black, then I'm gonna do two layers of yellow. So I'm just putting the glue on about a half inch below the strips above it. So now this is what it looks like from the side. If you have a piece like this that is gonna be in between something, you can just... Okay, so now I have the two layers of yellow and now I'm going to do two layers of black. So, we have this little opening right here. We can attach some to this too. And then we can just cut it like that. Okay, then I'm gonna do one more layer of black. And then I'm gonna start and I'm gonna do this part. Now, we do have a problem. See how the black is lower here than it is here. So I'm just gonna fix that right now and add a little bit more on this side. So now I'm gonna start on my next layer of yellow. So this is it so far. My stinger, I can bend right back out. Let's put some yellow in between the wings first. Let's put our yellow on this part of it. Okay, so our bee is looking pretty fuzzy at this point. Now we're gonna add a yellow strip that is going to come all the way around the top. So I'm going to now reverse my bee. I'm gonna set his little stinger in my cup. Okay, before we do our black stripe, we wanna make the face. So we're going to glue our nose on first and then we're gonna put the yellow crepe paper around it. So I'm gonna use hot glue to glue the nose on. Fluffy black thing. <laughs> After you glue the nose on, you want to get some pieces of your yellow crepe paper and just like we did before, put two things of glue on the edges. I'm going to use this glue now because I just got burnt. Now we want to put our googly eyes on there. Put the eyes on there wherever you want. Just get your hot glue gun. Glue your two eyes on. If you don't live somewhere or you don't have these things, you could just make these out of paper. You could just crumple up a ball of the black crepe paper and make this part. So don't think you have to go and buy all of this stuff. Then you can also put some eyebrows on there with your pipe cleaners. Don't you want it to be a mad bee, a shocked bee? Just use your hot glue and stick them on there. So you can do a little mouth if you want. Use your pipe cleaner. I'm gonna put a little, this is where you can use your imagination. Let's add two layers of black around here and maybe one of yellow if we can fit it in. 
if you want, you can use your creativity. You could give this bee some antennas. I'm just gonna take a pipe cleaner. Just need to cut two lengths of your pipe cleaner. Bend to the bottom, because that's where we're gonna glue it on. And then bend the top. So I'm just gonna glue these two things together. There you have it. So you're just making like a little tree. And do the same thing with your other one. And then you just choose Number one, how long you want them to be. Okay, so then you're just gonna glue them anywhere in here. I'm just putting a little glue on the edge, then I'm just gonna put them right in. Be careful with the glue, because it gets a little bit hard with the crepe paper. So I guess a tip would be don't glue it to the crepe paper, glue it to the balloon. Otherwise, if you glue it to the crepe paper, it can just like tear off. So here he is looking at him from the front. And at this point, you can also add some legs. So we can add six legs. So I'm just gonna use the pipe cleaner. I'm just gonna cut it into six. So you're just gonna cut six of those. When you're gluing his feet on, you need to glue it to the balloon, not to the crepe paper. I'm gonna put six feet in here. So one, two, maybe three right by the back. Make a little loop at the end of your pipe cleaner so it's a little bit easier to glue it on. So I'm just putting the last two feet on. So I'm just adding glue to the circle that I made. You wanna glue it, again, right onto the balloon, not onto the crepe paper. The second to last step is to take your bee, lift open that flap, and we're just, we can tape this on, so don't worry if this comes off completely, and fill it with candy. You wanna fill it with candy with wrappers so that it doesn't melt inside. After you put your candy in, we need to attach a rope to this so that we can hang it. And we also want to make sure that this stays closed. So we're just gonna use a little tape to keep this shut. Before we shut it, we're gonna wanna attach our string. So I'm just gonna take this part off. I had to voice over this part because unfortunately my bee broke out of the strings and I had to tie them around it to finish our pinata breaking. So make more than four holes. You wanna use a hole punch or an X-Acto knife and make, I would make five or six holes and attach a thick rope to it instead of string. I use string and the string just cut right through it. Also, you can reinforce it with tape. So learn from my mistake, make more holes and use a thicker rope that's not gonna tear right through your paper mache. You can also make your paper mache a little bit thicker where you're going to be putting those strings in. Hopefully it'll last a few hits. Here's a really quick tip. You can roll up your crepe paper and you can stick it in here to fill up the space that there isn't candy in and it's gonna make it a little bit easier for your lid to stay on. And make sure that your strings are above your lid. So attach a string to these just right in the middle and you are ready. So just add a string and then you can destroy your beautiful creation. <laughs>